This is gonna be a short experiment showing you guys exactly how much atmospheric pressure there is, this time by making water defy gravity. Really cool. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a jar or a glass just as long as you have some sort of piece of paper that can cover the lid entirely. I'm gonna use a playing card. As long as it can cover the lid, then that should be fine. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna fill up your beaker or your cup or whatever else you have. Fill it all the way to the top. Now I'm gonna fill it as close as I can. There we go. Now to help you guys see it better, I am going to just use a little bit of food coloring so that you can see the water inside of this beaker. So I'll just put a few of them in there. Nice purple color this time, I think. I'm gonna get something and I'll stir it all up. I'm just gonna use a spoon. I'll hold it up here. I'm gonna stir it so you can just see the water is full all the way to the top. Now this is where it gets cool. This water currently is being pulled down towards the ground and the atmospheric pressure is pushing in on all sides of this beaker. On the top, on the sides, everywhere. Now if I put this piece of paper, which is just a playing card on top. I'm going to put my hand on top of the piece of paper and flip the whole thing over. So now my hand is preventing this water from falling all over the ground. Well, what happens when I let go of the playing card? Look at that, eh? So this is being held in place because you remember, atmospheric pressure is pushing in on us on all sides with like 14 pounds of pressure per inch. So that means right here, there's 14 pounds of pressure pushing down on the top of this uh, beaker. On the sides, there's 14 pounds of pressure pushing in on it, but also on the bottom. We've removed all of the air from inside of this beaker with a little bit of an exception at the top. That's so small, it doesn't matter. Which means all that's left is the weight of the water pulling down, which is approximately a pound, maybe a pound and a half. So that means there's a pound and a half of water pushing downwards, but there's 14 pounds per inch, and since that's more than an inch of this playing card, there's 14 pounds pushing upwards. So this water cannot fall down until I remove the playing card. Now, I don't have any uh, <laughs> bucket or anything, so if I were to pull this out, I would just get food colored water all over my kitchen, and I don't want to do that. So yeah, you guys should totally do this experiment at home. This is really cool. Now I'm just going to flip it back over. Ta-da! If you like this experiment, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon. We are destructive creativity for you, for science and for fun. See you next time. Bye!